So this is a completely ground up, redesigned new machine for us in the high horsepower 9RX. So this one specifically is our top of the line. It's the new 9RX 830, so 830 rated horsepower. We also have a new 770 as well as a 710 model as well. So uh, again, rated horsepower 830, peak or max horsepower 913. Yeah. And then along with it, there's a lot of new, it's a ground up redesign, so new frame. So this is a cast structural frame all the way back. And then we have a new engine as well. So the JD18 engine is how we get that 830 horsepower. Um, and along with that, it's able to meet stage four, or sorry, uh, state final tier four, stage five emissions requirements with no diesel exhaust fluid. So just EGR technology on this machine. Um, so no, no having to fill a def tank every day for our customers. Um, moving back, uh, we have a new transmission to go along with it. So uh, E21 transmission. Uh, what's new about this is really the new working speeds in there, but also allows for skip shifts, which allows us to really accelerate this tractor a lot faster than our previous models. And then with all of this power getting it to the ground, we have a lot of new ballasting options. Those ballasting options allow us to take the machine's total weight up to 84,000 pounds. And all those new ballasting options are done via forklift ready weights. So not your traditional suitcase weights anymore. We have forklift ready weights that go on the front, on the tracks if they want, and then big, bigger monopod weights on the back. And then really the, another, I guess, big update would be the new cab. So Command View 4 Plus cab uh, from John Deere. So allows a lot more right side visibility than our previous model, more floor space, and it's packed full of technology. So Gen 5 display, Starfire 7500, and what we're really proud of as well is uh, we're announcing autonomy ready tractors. So this tractor is autonomy ready from the factory, meaning it's got all the harnesses, all the controllers to be fully autonomous. All that's missing would be the plug and play vision system when it's released. So if a customer's not sure if autonomy's for them, they have the tractor and later they decide it'd be the right fit for them, it's a really easy transition to go to a fully autonomous tractor from there. Um, and then some other uh, improvements would be, a big one would be the hydraulic system. So these machines are usually hooked up to fairly large implements that a lot of times take pretty big hydraulic flow like the, the new air cart and air seeder here. Uh, this system, what's new about it is it's a split design. So we've got dedicated pumps and a reservoir for the tractor functions like brakes, turning, and transmission. And then optional one, two, or three pumps for the implement. Now, that three pump option gives us an industry leading 168 gallons per minute. So, and that's straight to the implement. And again, the tractor has its own pumps and reservoir, which really allows no matter what implement we're putting on the back, we're gonna optimize seating rates, fan speeds, or whatever it may be. And then I'd say probably one of the, of the other main or large improvements was talking to customers about what they liked about their old tractor or the older 9RX and what they really looked for is to make getting started every day faster. And so daily maintenance checks, you know, fill the fuel from the ground, check the air filter from the ground, uh, make it easier to do all those things. So this machine really embodies that. Everything can be done from ground level. You can fill the fuel tank using the traditional fill from the ground. We also have a new fast fuel system that we introduced on the combines that can fill that tank in under four minutes. And then, Again, you can see all your hydraulic fluid levels right from ground level. So a lot of new stuff on the machine, as you can tell. Again, we said ground up redesign, and, and we mean, it. I mean, if you look at the two machines, we've, we've, uh, we've made improvements to just about every part of the machine that we found that customers needed us to improve upon. Yeah, this is a four track only model, and that allows us to really get the 830 horsepower to the ground, you know, and, be, and not be traction limited and things like that. And when I was talking about the cab updates that we have, this being a four track only really allows us to get rid of the wheel wells that we have on our previous cabs and make really a true four track cab, which is how we're able to get 20% more visibility to the right side and 15% more floor space. And with that cab as well, I should add is new cab suspension. So uh, we call it three degrees of freedom. Um, so up, down, side to side, front to back with four shocks, one on each corner of that cab. Really, it's, it's the best ride, uh, ride quality of our 9 Series we've ever had. Yeah, so really when we're looking at this machine, how we looked, and looked at fuel efficiency is, is gallons per acre, right? So how do we make this machine 
You know, does it use more fuel than our previous models? It, it does. But the productivity gains it brings gets us, it gets our producers a more productive gallons per acre number than maybe gallons per hour like some people look at. 830, 770, and 710. Those are the rated horsepower models with that top model, peak horsepower being 913. So we, we listen to our customers, what are their pain points, and it's get more done, right, and be more efficient doing it. And that's really what this machine embodies. We're doing, we're doing more with less, right? We're gonna do more acres per day. Uh, we talk about disking 100 more acres per day with this machine versus our previous and make it easier on them. Things like the Autonomy Ready and our G5 Advanced Package makes doing so many more acres per day even easier than it has been. So really proud of the new machine and looking forward to all the customers telling us what they think of it. Yep, so orders plan to start opening here in the middle of March with deliveries at the end of 2024. So it'll be hidden, it'll be hidden farms by the end of the year.